Welcome to Ma Micro World's logo, e uh, Micro World's EX logo lesson number five A, and today we're looking at the the heart and soul of the whole program. We've just looked at some commands, you know, uh, hide turtle, show turtle, repeat, forward, back, left, right, some of the angles, rule three sixty. This is today's lesson is going to be crucial because we're going to make our first program. You have to ask yourself, what is a program? Well, any my any uh, computer program is a set of commands put together in order to do a certain function. And some of them can be lines and lines and lines of code, is what, what they call, and it has to be done in the correct order or it won't work. There are some times where you get one command out of line and it won't work. Over here on the right side, up here, it's called the procedures page. I'm going to move it over a little bit so you can see it better. At the bottom here, on the bottom right, you see procedures. It's blank. It doesn't look like anything. We're going to make our first program. You click on there. The simplest program to make, of course, is a square. Every logo program starts with the word to, T-O, because, well, because they said so. All right? That's, uh, that's the name of the program. you got to learn it, its language. Two and then a space, and then I'm going to put the name square. Hit enter. Now, you don't have to call it square, but it makes sense to call it square because guess what it's going to make? It's going to make a square. Well, you could call it S if you want a shortcut, as long as you can remember that S stands for square. Some of my students would call it circle when it actually makes it square. The computer doesn't mind. Just make sure that it knows what you're talking about. You have to always hit enter. Don't forget that because sometimes the space bar looks like it's like you have, but you got to hit enter. Well, what's the, let me give you a close up on that. Now, what's the commands? Well, we could do all kinds of things, but of course the easiest thing is a repeat command. Repeat for bracket, left bracket, 4 to 100, right 90, right bracket. Hit enter. And you've seen this before. I'm not, you might ask, well, why doesn't it do anything? I can, well, I'm just writing the program. I haven't actually run it. We'll talk about that at the command center here in a moment. That should do it. All I need to do now, and this is very crucial, I have to complete it. And in logo, it's the word end, E-N-D. Two starts a program. Square is the name of the program. The commands are to repeat four, four to hundred, write ninety. And then it's finished, it's complete, it's ended. Now, to run it, you come down here to the command center, and we're going to type CG, of course. And now I'm going to type in the word square. And how about that? It makes a square because I told the computer, I programmed the computer to do square. If I wanted to do another square, let's say I take a right 90 and do another square, it would do another one. Anytime I want to do a square, I can just say square now. Now, what happens if you misspell it? Let's say your spelling isn't very good. S Q U, uh, let's say you forget the A, square. Well, logo tells you what you did wrong. I don't know how to square. You might, well, I don't know what happened to that. Okay. Well, you missed an A. Put it back in. You'll be okay. What happens if I go up to square here in the upper right and make it squared? Type in, I put a D there. Well, now it won't know what squared square is because you change the spelling. Every letter does have meaning. You've got to be able to uh, re remind yourself of that. Well, we can also make another program. I like to hit enter. Uh, give me a line. You don't have to, but up here in the up here in the corner in the procedures page, I like to make another line so that I can see my programs. By the way, if you don't end the program, the next one won't run. We'll talk about that sometime with all the errors that are common to logo. But for now, we'll make sure every program is ended. I'm going to make another one, triangle, of course, two triangle. How do you make a triangle? Well, repeat three, four to 100, write 120. We've talked about that before. End it. I'm just building. I'm building a triangle and square program. Now, anytime, as long as triangle works, of course, I should be able to do square and triangle anytime I want. I'll CG it, and I'll hit triangle. There you go. 
What happens if I want to do a square uh, on top of it? No problem. The computer now knows because you programmed it. Going back to the procedures page up here, I'm going to make another one. To, uh, we'll call it main. Main program. Again, I like to make a space so I can see my programs. Everything begins with two, ends with ends. Let's say I go uh, square, triangle, right turn 90, forward 100, left turn 90, square, forward 200, or 100, triangle. End. Guess what? It'll do it all at once. It'll do exactly what you tell it to do. So if I type in main, it does a square, triangle right where it's at, right 90, forward 100, left 90, turn around, make a square, go up forward 100, make a triangle. Let's see, how long can your programs be over here? How long can your programs be over on the procedures page? As many as you want. Well, how complicated can it get? Pretty complicated. Can you call other programs from a new program, like main? In main, I told it to do square. Guess what? It can do it. Just the start. Make sure, and the nice part is Logo saves all these. It saves stuff on the procedures page. It doesn't save stuff on the command center. Make sure you have it over here on the procedures page.